Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm here today with some a Scrap Diva Design projects. Um, if you're already watching, make sure you watch all the way through to the end. <coughs> um, so let me share with you guys the paper that I use for one of the projects, um, which is this really pretty Cartapella Summer. Um, this is such a pretty paper. I, I got it a while back, but it's so fun and I love all the bright, vivid colors on it. So I use that. <coughs> and the other one that I used, um, for the second project is Paige Evans Blooming Wild. So I'll start with that. So I did go ahead and create another pop-up card, um, which you guys can see a tutorial of this on my previous video. Um, but these are so fun and easy to make and I wanted to use that golf cart again. So, um, that I showed you guys on the last video. Um, so I did a, a pop-up card. Um, so of course I went ahead and I created the, um, the cute little, um, golf cart. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you guys the back. This paper is so fun. I, I just really love it. Um, and then I added some of the paper ephemera back there and I really wanted to give it the golf theme. So I used my Cricut and I cut out these, um, this little golf bag and then I added this cute little butterfly on that. And this is called Lady Shirt on Erica's website on Ascrap Diva Designs. Um, but I thought it was perfect for like a golf uh, shirt kind of theme or a golf theme because it kind of could go for like a, a little golf shirt or like a little polo. So I thought that would be really cute. And then I added this really pretty... Um, uh, cut apart from the collection, which I love, and it just says hello there. But I thought this was super fun, and um, another way to use um, this really cute little golf cart. I also added a couple of uh, flowers on the side. Um, now, normally the die does not come with this, but I did go ahead and add some um, pieces to the side, um, just so that it looks fully covered all the way around. But how fun, right? So cute. All right, so that's the first project. And then let me share with you guys the second project that I did. Um, this is the one that I used that uh, Cartabella Summer Paper. Um, so I used a couple of Erica's dies. Um, this is a cute little bag die that she has. Um, I have made this before, but how pretty, right? Um, so I went ahead and I used this really pretty scallop circle. I love this one with all the little cut aparts. I think we all own this. <laughs> and then um, I put foam tape uh, under each layer so that it's nice and dimensional. Um, I also added this really pretty bow right here and I just put a little gem there. Uh, my project is like Hello Kitty theme. So um, the button that uh, I purchased these from Bona um, and uh, who is Live Love Scrap. Um, so I put a cute little Hello Kitty um, button in the center. And then I also uh, added this sticker from the collection. It's a foam sticker um, and it just says sunshine on it. But love, isn't this bag like just everything? I love it. I haven't made it since the first time she sent it to me in a design team package. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a bag because I did a little mini album. So I finally made my way around to making this super adorable um, diamond mini album. Are you guys just dying? So fun. So, so cute. So, and like I said, I wanted to do, I did a um, Hello Kitty, uh, what's her name? My Melody or My Miss Melody. Um, I found a cute little um, SVG over on Etsy. So I went ahead and created that. And then um, I love this. I did the, the upper layer of the die um, creates this, which is so gorgeous. And I just did that with pink glitter as I did on the Hello Kitty, um, and Miss Melody. Um, these pretty flowers, I purchased these from, uh, Cuddle Me Clay. And I just absolutely love how beautiful they are. Gorgeous. And then this is a cut apart that says, uh, we love summertime. And I just put some random little halfback, um, 
little gems that came with the um, this collection. So there's some yellow and blue there, but how fun, isn't that cute? I love that. And then I went in and I just used some of the fun chipboards and some of the things that I have in my stash. Um, I decorated all the upper pieces of the card, uh, or excuse me, of the mini book so that a photo could be placed here. Um, so I just added this cute little flower truck and a button, and this is another chipboard. And then I added another one of those half back pieces. And then here's the next one. This is the cutest little cabbage on. It's like a flower with a little bee on it, <clears throat> which I found on AliExpress. Then I added this and I added a cute little gingham bow. And then there's the bottom with the um, cute little lemons. And then uh, this is also a dye from um, Erica's store. Uh, it's like a layering butterfly really cute and it comes in four different sizes which i love and um i added some little buttons and then i added this little word piece across at the top and then there's the pretty picture or the pretty paper underneath this is the paper just so pretty um and then this one i went ahead i used my cricut and i cut out some lemons and i added this little banner here and i put this little um twine bow there this is a chipboard from the collection. And then there's the pretty paper below. And then I did a cute little bike. These are really cute chipboard pieces too. And then here's the last one. And I used another one of those cute little cabochons. I just love that. So pretty. And then I just added this on uh, the back of the paper. But I love it and it is absolutely perfect for this little tote bag. So if you guys don't have that. Oh, and I forgot to show you the top of it. The top has a little deal on the top. Oops, I don't want to mess up my flower. And then I just added that on the top. But how fun. And it's a perfect size for this little mini book. It fits in there so perfectly. So you could gift that to someone just like that. So those are my fun little projects today and i will leave a link for those uh these dies in my description box below uh what i've used today now anna calls me trigger finger and i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> before i got my design team package i got a little excited about erica's new release and i went and bought this um and this is the one um this is like a shaker pocket um, and you can make a shaker on the front. I showed you guys the one that I made. Um, and I actually bought this and it was in my design team package. So what I'm going to do, um, is I'm going to do a giveaway for this. So, um, just leave a little, uh, comment, um, if you are interested in winning. Now, again, you guys do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be in the U.S. Unfortunately, I can't ship it out of the country. Um, so U.S. only. And, of course, this is not sponsored by YouTube or Instagram. Um, so, um, But I am going to go ahead and give this away. So if you'd like to um, be a part of this, uh, you can tell me which is your favorite dye that I use today. Uh, for my projects um, and I'll enter you in the drawing and I'll do I'll give it about a week and I'll um, do a drawing on Saturday so um, please make sure to leave a comment if you would like to win this die um, and I'll be happy to ship that out to you it makes a super super cute project um, especially if, when you do it as a shaker it's so adorable so um, again, leave me a message. So, um, and don't forget to use my coupon code, which is NAT10 uh, in all caps if you are interested in uh, purchasing any of these items. Uh, so you can save yourself 10%. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well on SassyBlingyMe31. And you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and um, good luck in the drawing. And again, please be 18 years or older to uh, participate in the uh, giveaway. So thanks so much and have a great day and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye.